Dog brother love. He even bought my girl Carisha in it, man. If you didn't know, Diddy House got raided. They raided the New York home. I heard the California. Yeah, we covered home. that last week, but now we got an update. Exactly. Now that they got the dr- the D- the drug mm-hmm. mule, Brandon and Paul. They pulled him. They pulled him. I guess he was on again trying to get on the plane. Uh, they got him. They got him. And why would a Syracuse uh, basketball player be running stuff for Diddy? I mean, it don't make no sense. It makes sense with a uh, Carisha. Young Miami, cause she in Miami. It makes perfect sense why he he didn't make it far in the NBA. Mm-hmm. Look at he's him. in college. He never made it. Oh, he didn't make it. He didn't make it. He's hanging out too many. Diddy I mean, parties. hey, listen here, man. If you don't get that NBA contract, I I would settle for that Diddy contract. Oh, we know you would. <laughs> we know you were volunteering, sending DMs, trying to join that Diddy party. Oh, whatever, man. But we- it says the plaintiff and the Combs Rico Enterprise were rehearsing for something in the Westival. In Virginia, the court filing reads, Plaintiff Jones personally witnessed Mr. Combs do a few lines of coke <clears throat> in his dressing room. Allegedly, defendant Sean Combs wanted Tucci, but Brendan forgot forgot it. So defendant uh, Christina Coram called Young Miami, who then brought it on the private jet from Miami. So she's like, did he's partying somewhere else? And he's like, hey, Carisha, we need a refill. <laughs> Ooh, can I get a re? I mean, hey, man, listen here. Hit the video. We're going to play the video. We're going to give you more facts about what's going on. Then we're going to hit y'all with our two cents. And, of course, we need y'all to comment in, too. Busted. While with Diddy. (laughs) You're watching Miami-Dade police body camera footage obtained exclusively by 7 News. Showing one of Sean P. Diddy Combs' entourage members under arrest at Miami Opelaka Executive Airport Monday. Brendan Paul, who's been referred to in lawsuits as Diddy's drug mule, was charged with drug possession. What? Meanwhile, on Star Island, the umbrellas are still out at Diddy's house, but it's not raining. (laughs) A tour bus passed by slowly, and security guards and their SUVs blocked any view beyond this point, and a trying one for its owner. His mansions in South Florida and L.A. raided by the feds in connection to an investigation out of New York. He's not been arrested or charged, but faces civil suits, accusing the megastar and music mogul of rape, sex assault, and other offenses. Now, I mean, like my co-host just said, uh, when did he need that re-up, he calls up Carisha. She calls up Carisha. Carisha called up Brandon, allegedly. Brandon gives How it Carisha know him, Brandon? I'm, in Miami, you know everything goes down in Miami. It's what you think that yeah yo. He's in Syracuse, so it means he's in New York. So is he the uh, connect to New York? No, he's a, he's in Miami. He lives in Miami now. He didn't oh, make it. He didn't, he didn't make, make it. it. So so that's why he's being the mule. Exactly. So you know he gives the stuff to Carisha. Carisha, you know sometimes she takes it on the plane. Sometimes oh, he places it on the plane. <laughs> Paul. I mean, it's not possible, huh? But I just want to know this, man. I want to know: is Paul this the man. reason why City Girls broke up? Is because Carisha over here too busy being hundred percent, hundred percent. Being hundred thousand percent, Uzi was trying to warn. Uzi was trying to warn, like he was like, "You can't have my girl hanging out with these hooligans, doing all these ditty parties, doing, doing these unthinkable these, stuff, everywhere, allegedly muling this, muling that, getting uh, getting uh, what's it called, uh, R. Kelly, you know, exactly. About, eliminated. I mean, and he's like, "Nah, nah I'm not gonna have my girl on the streets like that." So once he told uh. Heard that JT that she couldn't hang out with Young Miami. The city girls was done. Exactly. I mean, and ever since this happened, all this Young Miami stuff has been coming out. It's stuff like young, videos of Young Miami calling herself a whore, or at times where like uh, she's like, no, literally. It, or like I saw that interview. Exactly. She talked about she gonna have a break for your daddy. I mean, it's so much stuff that Young Miami out here doing. I mean, it just makes sense. This is why the city girls basically broke up because Carisha out here would rather be with Diddy than be in the be in the studio. She's probably making more money. You know, city girls mm. my rap no ain't selling like that I mean some of it is if you sexy red but um you know probably uh, Lil Yachty wasn't writing their songs no more so they couldn't get a hit I mean I mean Lil Yachty broke up Lil Yachty was going with uh with JT and that ended cause you know JT went to jail but I mean this is man your- Come on, Uzi, you're better than that. <laughs> but I mean, this you're better is better than the than the little boats it seconds. Is, it is, and this is just crazy because it gets worse and worse and worse. You see, on if you go online, you see Car- Carisha over here talking to people who's saying, "Oh yeah, you just want to be under Diddy nut so bad. Uh, don't worry, Diddy We're heavy seven on your." Seven minutes in, and you're talking about. Nuts. I'm just saying, past five minutes. 
Let's see. Let's see. I, I'm gonna tell you like hey, that. It's longer than you last. So let's see. I'm tell you the good. same thing I tell my girls, man. Once I pass five minutes, it's, it's all bets on, are off. All bets are off, baby. It's we going we having a good time. But uh, but like I was saying before, <laughs> <laughs> we having a good time. <laughs> like, like a, but like I was saying, I mean, if you seen online, Carisha was telling people, oh yeah, Diddy will have you on your knees, begging, begging, please. And I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, all this stuff going on, they got it. Diddy has to get R. Kelly. Diddy's about to go to jail. I can see it happening. You don't see it happening? Oh, I think uh, I can see it happening. The only confusing thing to me is we reported on this last week. And the one thing that I did notice was that they said that he apparently went to some islands in, like, South America. Yeah. But then it came out, no, that he was still in Florida. Yeah, that's So do you think that he got caught trying to leave? Or that they made him stay? Or what do you think the deal is? I don't know what's going on. I, I mean, a lot some, of questions. Some people saying it's staged. Some people saying, mm-hmm. like, uh, like it don't make any sense. Because you see this all happen. And you see Justin Combs. And you see uh, the skin, and the other the skinny black one. He over there kissing his girlfriend all online and everything. Uh, basically showing all this affection. You see, alleged, you see all these videos of Diddy popping up with Stevie J, drinking OJ, just having a good old time. Oh, yeah, like nobody Stevie worried. J videos coming out. Exactly. And then 50 Cent making fun of him and like, it's <laughs> horrible. to fight him. Then you see in Miami, y'all here chilling with money back, yo girlfriend, I hear twerking on, twerking on boasting and everything. All they're I the, seen was, they're, but- the, they're, the, they're the twerk buddies. <laughs> to twerk twins, the new twerk yeah. twins? Yep. So I mean I don't know what's going on with this whole case. I mean people I seen I was researching this online and they were saying like well, uh, allegedly they're trying to paint this as a Rico because when it's a Rico they can get all the old charges also because I mean they're trying to bring up a lot of the old stuff for girls he he messed with them, like in two thousand two thousand one. Well, I mean Diddy's been around forever, so why wouldn't they check the records? I mean, supposed to have been doing this forever. He's a little Epstein Junior. I mean, but I mean, at this, is it really a problem? I mean, when you rich and you got that money like that, everybody want to party with a millionaire. Like I told, like you, like you said, Coach, you said you rather you rather a Diddy party than the five hundred dollars in food stamps. Nah, give me the food stamps. <laughs> I'm trying to stay in tech. I'm not trying to wake up on the side of a curb. Be like, what happened? <laughs> buy all be the, like, did he happen? Be like, buy all the noodles you want. Nah, <laughs> fifty dollars. It ain't worth it. Uh, but I mean, you know, you know who should have you should have told that to Fifty Cent, baby mama. Oh yeah, yeah. She apparently got that message loud and clear. Be- so Fifty Cent is now seeking sole custody of his uh, of his son, as I he believe, should, because Daphne Joy's son, uh, after she named as alleged possible S worker in Diddy lawsuit report. Uh, 50 Cent basically went off doing a bunch of posts, and uh, he said, I didn't know you was an S-worker, you little S-worker, this <laughs> S- this uh, stuff, a movie. And uh, so, you know, he tags his brands there. But, yeah, he was basically going in on so hard on her that she was crying all over the place, fake crying, and then putting her own accusations on Instagram about stuff about 50 Cent just to get him to back off. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, 50 Cent and Diddy were into it, so Diddy's like, you know what, you're into with me, I'm taking your baby moms. Yeah, so I mean, if you didn't know, I mean, this feud has been going on for a while. Some people are saying if it start, one of the reasons is because P. Diddy, it it was messing with 50 Cent's baby mama that he used to have back in the day in 2011, 2012 time frame. But I mean, she also messed with Jason Derulo, allegedly. So I mean, he ain't, mess with, he ain't mad at Jason Derulo, but he mad at... He probably he, likes the way he sings. <laughs> hey, Jason Derulo can sing. Hey, calm it down if you feel like Jason Derulo can sing, because I think he, he can. Could just TikTok. <laughs> it could be, it could be a TikTok. He do be doing a lot on TikTok. But back to the story. So he's uh, Fifty Cent's been beefing with uh, with Diddy. So every chance he gets, Fifty Cent is gonna uh, basically slander Diddy. And I mean, hey, I mean these allegations is true. I want my kid too, because you clearly can't make good choices. You here, you choosing Diddy parties. Well, she was saying that like, uh, oh, it's funny how you want your kid all of a sudden when we I moved to New York to be next to you. And then you saw him like four times in a year. He busy. He got power. <laughs> but he got rap. He got tours. He is busy, but that's no excuse when they live down the street. Uh, but let's go ahead and it, uh, I mean, see if you, it doesn't matter if you live down the street if I'm never home. This man got an answer for everything. <laughs> but we got a video. We got. That's a, why you're on the Texas most hated list. <laughs> that was last year. All that fake crying. I look at 50 Cent laughing. Oh, yeah. This is where she put that whole screws to him and said that he was actually an abuser and made claims against him. 
But I think it was just because he was, uh, she was getting trolled so hard. So the only way to stop the trolling is probably to accuse. I hate when they do that. So as soon as, soon as uh, they're in a basically uh, in a predicament where like they're looking like the bad person, he be like, oh, he hurt me. And you be like, what? <laughs> like, this is consensual. Like, you had the you kid and everything. You away in hopes of having another baby with me, but I was busy, so you moved back, and then you started receiving money from Brother Love. Horrible. That here love, we are. Them love bucks. Little S worker. Them love bucks ain't good for you, man. It was all money ain't good money. Now, look at this. Shadow like, cap good. <laughs> now she's labeled an S worker because she doesn't have any musical talent, so they can't label her as an artist. He, she ain't doing nothing else. So all, only thing is she's getting child support for fifty. I mean, but but with fifty, with, uh, but the that's reason, probably not enough to do the lifestyle that she was living. I mean, so you know, she was definitely getting money from somewhere else, and from all the records and the alleged records in the case, they have her linked to just receiving large sums of money for uh, professional work. I mean, it, but it was her, it was her, Carisha. It was like a couple, like, allegedly, I mean, did it. Like, did he, he had a full roster, man? He got a full roster. He had Cassie. He had, I mean, he had Cassie. He had J-Lo. Was Cassie the one that sued him? Yeah, Cassie's the and one that's, they uh, settled for like 80 million? The silver suit that settled. And also, you know, also when I was doing this whole research on this case, it's like, all because every well, all these allegations, the the feds have basically piled up all these allegations, used that information, and basically started to look into it. And then once they sent found out validity into it, that's how they uh they started all this happened, just because people talking online. Well, yeah, and then of course he got accused. Uh, in the Cassie he, situation, yeah, like a bunch of people started coming out and taking him to court. So it's like there's a handful of people taking him to court. Then he might have did something wrong, and they might need uh investigated. True enough, but also people are also saying that some of the things he said in some of the things that Little Rod and them and people said in the documents are false. Like, like uh, Yo Miami saying like, "Oh yeah, she wasn't with Diddy. She posted online pictures like her being." In, we saw her in with New Diddy. York. I mean, at that time, but you know, how, you know how people do. Like at the, t- at the time that you're saying I wasn't there. And or then, like you were lying out of your face. Or like CVJ saying like, "Oh yeah, that's not me. That's some dude named. That's not me in the bed with another dude. That's some dude named Knockout King." So I mean, hey, it's a, it's a lot of things has been like he was the one getting knocked out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I mean, or it's, knocked up. It's a lot of things that's going on that people are basically saying that that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. So we got to see how it's this goes. All I mean, allegedly. So I coming mean, coming from somewhere. But do you think if en- if enough people come forward and be like, oh, all this isn't true, do you think like they're gonna drop all the charges no. and brother? They even get him for something. Yep. I mean, he did something. I mean, they're gonna go after him like they're going after Trumpy. They're trying to get something to stick. They're throwing spaghetti at the wall. But I hate when basically. So yeah, I can see that. No, nah, but I mean, they got enough evidence. I'm just making a joke there, but I think they got enough evidence to 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 get, get him for what though. Bars. They have too many receipts of him paying people to move drugs it's, across state it, lines. They grown. You grown. That's not grown. That's Listen, illegal. Listen, man, if Diddy hit when me up grown. right now saying, Jesse, man, I got 150 bands, we're going to make something happen. You're going to make it clap like Travis Porter said. <laughs> Unforgivable. <laughs> but let's change this topic before, of my, no hands? before my co-host gets too aroused. What? <laughs> what? Who? So change the topic before you get. To- <laughs> I started talking. I started singing a No Hands song by Waka Flocka. Yeah, we know why. That was the favorite song at the Diddler party. <laughs> that song get. Hey man, that song get the party live. That and Swag okay. Surf. You see him, Boosie say he threw his back out. Been there, done that. Swag surfing on you. Pause. You said been there, done that. No, whoa, 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 whoa. You said next topic. You said next topic, and somehow we on this topic. You're gonna be the topic. 